Biosafety cabinets are ventilated and primary cabinets for biohazards containment. They are primary containment equipment for the biohazards and if I define the containment it means that the action of keeping something harmful under control or within the limits. The content of our presentation is characteristic features of biosafety class 1 cabinet, personal protection, environmental protection, diagram, working mechanism and things to remember while using or dealing with the biosafety cabinet. Class 1 biosafety cabinets are actually it is the common feature or the common character of all three classes that they are used for the containment of infectious pathogens and microorganisms that can pose a threat to the lab workers and external environment. Class 1 biosafety cabinets only provides personal and environmental protection and no product protection. Class 1 biosafety cabinets are similar to chemical fume hood in terms of air movement. HEPA filter which stands for high efficiency particulate air filter are embedded in the exhaust system of biosafety cabinet for contaminated air purification. Class 1 biosafety cabinets are specifically used for enclosed equipment such as centrifuges or some of the procedures which have the potential to generate aerosols. Personal protection is provided by the inward flow of the air through the front opening. Even if the air is contaminated inside, it will not move out due to the inward pressure. You can see in the diagram how the inward air is flowing and what is the movement and what is the path of the air inside the biosafety cabinet. Next is the environmental protection and for environmental protection HEPA filters are used. They are present in the exhaust system and they purify the contaminated air which is no more pure due to the presence of an infectious pathogen. So this is a short and a brief diagram of biosafety cabinet class 1. We have a front opening, then we have a sash that is adjustable and movable and then we have exhaust HEPA filter in the top. Uh, there is another point to be discussed that is exhaust planum and the cabinet needs to be hard connected to the building exhaust system if toxic vapors are used. Now what does it mean we will discuss in coming slides. So biosafety cabinets are hard ducted and what does it mean? Class 1 biosafety cabinet is hard ducted. It means that it is in direct connection to the building exhaust system. The building exhaust fan provides the negative pressure necessary to draw room air into the cabinet. In case of any unintentional leakage or accidental damage to the biosafety cabinet, the negative pressure makes the air move toward the exhaust system and afterwards into the environment. For precautionary measures, an extra HEPA filter should be installed prior to exhaust fan. Working mechanism. Mechanism is simple and indicated by the arrows. The negative pressure inside allows the inward movement through the open sash and room air is coming from the point A and B is indicated as sash. After the inward movement the air moves out to external environment but it is purified before leaving by HEPA filter which is labeled as C and the D which I have recently mentioned it is the exhaust planum. Finally, we have some points to keep in mind while dealing with the biosafety cabinets. You have to keep a steady air flow. Sash must have an adequate height. Keep the biosafety cabinet free from contamination. Use proper personal protective equipments. Utilize aseptic techniques. 
follow protocols for biohazard disposal make your personal protection a priority and biosafety cabinets must be checked for maintenance on routinely basis by a biosafety officer